Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Reefing TV. This is part of the Nano series. Last week I had you guys help me figure out which Nano tank I was gonna buy to start the whole process. You guys decided on the Nouveau 10 and tonight it was delivered. So I've been sitting here on this couch in the new office and just watching out the window right over there and just earlier, just earlier, the UPS guy came and dropped off the tank. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna check it out, we're gonna unbox that sucker and see what beauty lies within. Stay tuned. Check it out. So excited. Boom! There she is. Let's get her inside. So you guys out there chose the innovative Marine Nouveau Fusion 10. And um, so that's what I have right here. That's what we're gonna get opened up. That's what we're gonna set inside this office. It's gonna be this uh, nano tank SPS bomb. And we just need to get it unpacked. Looks like they did a good job packaging it up because I know they had fragile stickers all over the box, but it was like people were just like just elbowing it and you know kicking it and whatever, but um, but it looks like it's, they wrapped it up pretty good in bubble wrap. There was a lot of uh, um, packing peanuts and stuff like that in there. So we'll get this guy unwrapped, we'll get it on the desk, and show you guys around. For the innovative marine fusion nano 10 tank it's got starfire glass it's got great dimensions if look over here on the sides um, from uh, the front the front pane of glass is 11.8 inches so basically a foot um, front viewing space and then on the side panels it's 15 inches from front to back um, which gives you a lot of great space for aquascaping um, it has the all-in-one, so it has the filtration in the back, comes with the filter sock, the uh, the return pump, and um, it's just a nice and sleek tank. It comes with a little net top on it, so you can hold little wrasses and gobies and stuff like that, and they're not going to jump out onto your desk or your aquarium or your furniture or whatever. So there it is. There's the box. Let's get it out of the box. It's not doing us very much good in there. That way we can uh, really see what it looks like in this space. It's awesome. Um, I think it fits perfectly on the desk. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it over here um, on the edge of, uh, of the desk. So I could either keep it on the edge of the desk or put it towards the back um, kind of corner over here. Um, or just kind of keep it over here towards the back corner. So what do you think? Do I keep it over here? on the left hand side or do I put it back over here kind of back away I think I want it close I think um, I think it would make sense to have it on the edge of um, on the edge of the tent on the edge of the desk so that way you can get real up close and personal on the side angle view um, I really like getting up close to the glass so I think that makes a lot of sense um, rather than putting it back there. 
um, and I think I'll just you know relocate this um, uh, this window back here because it just kind of doesn't really vibe um, right behind the tank. So I think I'll move that. Maybe I'll move the uh, the window over here on this wall. Figure out some sort of wall art to go here. Maybe just move the window up higher. I'm not really sure um, that. I think that looks great there. You know, drop it down in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think, um, what your guys' thoughts are on it, where I should put it. Cause that, that you know, I mean, really, that could be moved um, all the way up until the point at which, um, you know, I go ahead and uh, and put rock and sand and and water and fish in it, right? So, um, you know, tell me what you guys think. Now, here's a, some of my first thoughts on on this tank. Um, I think that the tank is, I mean the glass is super clear, um, it's really nice, it's got really nice polish edges um, and what I also like is that the foam that goes underneath that keeps it, um, the foam that goes underneath that keeps it, uh, the tank from, you know, the kind of the pressure and then getting under it and cracking it. Um, it's already attached to the bottom of the tank, so I don't need to worry about that. It's already there, um, and it protects it. Um, comes really nicely packaged inside the box, and then Marine Depot did a great job um, packaging the outside so it arrived safely, even though the package looked like it was, you know. Have you ever seen um, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, where he's delivering the package and he's like throwing it and it's rolling and, and he's like kicking it all the way up into the door? I feel like that's how the UPS driver delivered that box. Um, so ridiculous. But anyways, um, it all came in one piece. Let's give you a look around what it looks like. So down here you can see the little filter sock that's included. This is the Innovative Marine filter sock. That's pretty neat because that just drops right down in there. It's got a nice weir here. Keep your uh, fish from going down the overflow, snails and things like that. Um, also keep your water level at exactly the same height at all times. That's really nice. So the water level will change in the back. And that's where we'll uh, we'll have a little float valve or a little um, float switch back there, and that'll turn on and off or auto top off. I'll keep the uh, the excess water down here underneath the tank, underneath the office uh, desk. It comes with a uh, a pump, and um, and I, I don't know that that seems a bit flimsy to me. We'll have to see what we can do about making that um, just a little bit more tidy and. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know, that seems a bit cheap to me um, for such an expensive small tank. Comes with the warranty information, yep, great. And a little net top. To me, I've never really run a net top before, but to me, that seems like that would block a lot of light. So here's, here's my light, right? And then if I do that, it blocks quite a bit of it. So. I think that I think that this would block quite a bit of light coming into the tank. So you have pretty powerful light for the SPS that I'm going to put in here. Um, boy, those are that is. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that affects the par. I've got a par meter, and we'll figure that out. Comes with the the clips here for the top, and a um, a little manual for. Um, for the tank. I don't know what really you need a manual for. Um, it's it's a tank. Okay. Um, but if you look at the edge of the glass, do you see, I don't know if you can kind of see how blue it is. Um, it's not it's not green, it's it's more of a blue color. And that's how you know this is good starfire glass. It's very clear. 
Um, so you can see my hand, it's very, very clear glass, which is gonna give you a great look at all the corals that we're gonna put in here. So, I like that they black this out, with a nice black matte black finish so you don't see um, you know what's going down in the overflow and all the gook that's gonna be back here. So that's nice, real sleek. That's gonna look really nice. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this sticker off of here. So this back is acrylic. Um, it's not glass, but it is a very. Uh, but it's a pretty thick acrylic. Oh boy. So I tell you guys, I'm I'm real stoked about getting this thing set up. Getting the rock, getting the sand, getting the water into it, getting some lights to go on top of it. But I want to know from you guys, tell me what type of lighting or what type, what, hmm. I want help from you guys. Tell me which LED lights, I'm not putting anything else on here but LED. Tell me which LED light you guys think I should use on top of this tank. Keep in mind that it is um, about one foot by one foot from front to back um, and side and from side to side. That is kind of the, the, the um, space of the top of the actual um, area where the fish and the coral and everything are going to be. So which light should I use? Drop that in the comments below. Also, if you guys think I should move it to a different part of the office, uh, you know, just let me know. Um, I'm open to suggestions. Although I'm pretty firm, I think it's going to stay here. Um, but again, drop those in the comments below. I'd love to hear your uh, your thoughts on it. If you already have a new Vogue 10, tell me what your thoughts are on it. I know I've already gotten some uh, kind of feedback already from you guys uh, as to what you think. A lot of good reviews. Um, some think the pump is a little weak. Again, tell me what you think. And then also, if you like the video, if if uh, maybe you're thinking about uh, buying a new Vo 10, um, you know, so far so good. I'm gonna drop the link in the comments below, and the I'm gonna drop a link in the description below where you can pick one up from Marine Depot. They have great prices, and like I said, they uh, they ship um, really well. So um, if you like the video, give it a huge thumbs up. I know I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, why not? Um, do it, hit that big red subscribe button so you get updates on all the new videos that are coming out. Follow this build, follow the 300, the refugium. Uh, there's all sorts of content coming out each and every week for you guys. I upload at least every Friday. Um, and, and it's all for you guys. I just wanna build a community and, um, and have some real reefing fam out there that I can um, you know converse with and, um, and everything. So do it, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, stay salty, stay tuned, stay real, peace.